It's Colin here. In this episode of Factorio Quick Tips, I'm going to be showing you some basic logic gates in Factorio 0.13. I'm using decider combinators and power switches, but most entities like um, inserters and pumps can be used in much the same manner. So let's get to it. Before we start, I'd better show you how to connect wires and disconnect wires. So place your pole as you would normally and then put your pole away and then just hold shift and click on the pole. That will disconnect the wires. Then grab some copper coil and then just click on them and drop them away. Now your red and green circuit wires, you can just click on the poles and click on the objects you want to connect. Um, if you follow a path that's already there, it will disconnect that section. Getting started, each of these chests have a hundred of the listed items in, in them, which is then sent down the red wire to all of the inputs. Power switches only have a single input, where combinators and decider combinators have inputs and outputs. Now, using the power switches in this method is based two basic checks. Um, and we're going to say the power is running north up, up the power line. So it runs into this first one. This first one's checking that there's a hundred railway in the circuit. There is, so it's on. Power will then continue to this pole, and then this one will then check if stone is equal to a hundred. And then it will run out and power this pole, which is connected to no other part of the network besides this switch. This can be used for power stations, accumulators, any type of um, network to control things like that. It, this can power a pump, it can do all sorts of good things. And then we move to the decider combinators. And this first one is a, is a typical AND switch. Um, I'm looking for a value of 2, so that's when they're both on. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, when steel is equal to 100, output 1 green. When rail track is equal to 100, output 1 green. When there's 2 green, turn on. This next one here is a range check. So when steel is greater than 1, but less than 101, it outputs 2 green, and therefore the light's on. This one here could be considered an OR check, and that's because it's um, greater than 0. If either one of these is greater than, puts an output of one or more on, then this light will turn on. So if I set that to less than, it's still, it's not outputting a signal where this one still is. If I set this to greater than, then neither of them are outputting a signal. So that's a very handy one to have. Let me just set that to greater than and it will turn on. Set that to equals and it'll turn on. So that's very handy. And you can control anything from pumps to inserters to I'm not sure but I think maybe belt movement. I've not tried that but it's always fun to have a play around. It is especially useful for fluids and um, uh, small factories like this uh, storage tanks because you can use a power switch and this one's checking for lubricant less than 200 which is powering this one here so if I bump this up to I don't know let's say 300 and we click set that will turn on and it will start making more lubricant uh, up till it gets to two, uh, 300 which is new value if I set it back to down to 200 it will disable pretty quickly and there you go, the power's off. Um, you can get this much earlier than you can get pumps, so it might actually be worthwhile for you to use in an early game. So there we go, that's my quick walkthrough in basic circuitry in Factorio 0.13. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, have a great day.